So we're in the beautiful Coromandel and today we're heading over to the east side, namely Opedo Bay, in search of some of the beautiful scallops that this area of New Zealand has to offer. You know, Coromandel is well known for its scallops. The great place about where I'm going is the scallops are very, very shallow. So, you know, generally it makes life easier when you don't have to dive really deep for them. I mean, they can be up to 10 metres or more. But, um, you know, at this location we're going today, we're talking six, seven metres to get some really nice big scallops. You don't have to be a deep diver to do that. So, and the great thing about the kayak is it can carry all your gear out there, mark your location, allow you to load your scallops into the kayak, plus also you can display a dive flag, which means that other vessels are going to see you while you're in the water. So from a safety perspective, that's huge. When we get to the beach, it doesn't take us very long to quickly set up the kayak with all the gear, and um, it's just a short paddle to get out there. At other places in Coromandel, I have to travel a bit further. Here, you know, we're talking five, six hundred metres out, and so nice and close to shore, nice and close to the launch location. But in other places, we're talking at least a 2k paddle to get to those scholar areas. Scallops are quite easy to see with their distinctive shape giving them away even when buried in sand. When the water clarity is really good, it's easy to see them from the surface. On a good bed, where the scallops are concentrated, it's possible to get your limit with just a few dives. At this location, the scallops are spread well apart, so it's a real advantage to have a decent bottom time when free diving. On a good area, it can take you as little as 20 to 30 minutes to fill your bag with its limit. Always measure and count your scallops before placing them into the bag and be sure to comply with any local regulations regarding this shellfish. During this dive the scallops were fairly spread out and hard to find but one of the bonuses I did happen to come across was this sole. It was hiding in the sand and I pounced on it with my bare hands and grabbed it. When we gather seafood, it's important that we know how to prepare it for cooking. Shucking scallops is fairly easy if you follow a few simple steps. To extract the scallop from the shell, it's best to use a short knife like a bait knife to do the job. We start by using the knife to separate the scallop from the bottom of the shell. To do this, we need to cut the foot of the scallop. This will separate the gills and the skirt from the main foot of the scallop. Turn the top scallop shell over so it's upright, then proceed to separate the guts from the main foot. Also cut away the hard white muscle that's attached to the side of the foot. We're almost there but now it's time to separate the remaining gills from the foot of the scallop. Scrape away any remaining guts, then separate the foot from the shell. And we're left with one scallop, including the row and the foot. The rewards for a few hours diving, crumb scallops and pan fried sole in butter and olive oil.